Hello everyone. This is Dr. Subhashni from Eero, Tamil Nadu, India. My educational qualifications are MA, BA, MPhil and PhD. I have worked as a teacher and assistant professor in the Department of English for nearly 7 plus years and I have taught various subjects including uh, communicative skills in English. With globalization, as we all of us know, communicative competence in English is playing an important role. It is important for social and economic necessity. Communicative competence in English is vital for not only getting a job but also for social mobility. Speaking skills in this communication is considered to be an effective medium. Why do we say so? Let us consider the communication process here. If a sender is sending a message to the receiver, for example, uh, if I am the sender, I am sending this message to the receiver. Here, I can take either spoken or written mode of communication. So, I am sending a message to the receiver. So, for example, I am finding the sender, you are the receiver. So, this is the process of communication. So, when this process of communication gets fulfilled means, if the receiver sends a feedback to the sender, means this process of communication is getting successful. So, there are many barriers in this communication process. If there are any sort of noise pollution or the birds, if the speaker is speaking in a language which the receiver can't understand means then that, that is also considered to be the barrier for communication. So, I find choosing this spoken mode of communication to send this uh, message means what will happen? I will get the response from the receiver as early as possible, isn't it? So, if I have chosen the written mode of communication, I have to wait for the receiver to send this or her feedback. It will take some time. So in this uh, uh, fast moving world, we are selecting this spoken mode of communication for our uh, communication. And while considering this spoken mode of communication, we verbally communicate with the receiver and we receive what we want as early as possible. And one such example, best example for the spoken mode of communication is our uh, wide use of cell phones, which has uh, uh, reached the nook and corner of the world, isn't it? So uh, now we can understand the importance of this uh, spoken mode of communication. So next, while speaking about the spoken mode of communication in English. So we are here for uh, spoken English class right now, isn't it? So while speaking about the spoken mode of communication, we have to speak about the four major skills in English. So what are those four major skills in English? They are nothing but L, S, R and W. So these are the four skills in which we need to focus if we want to master or if we want to acquire any foreign language. So here we are focusing on English. So what is this? This L stands for listening and S stands for speaking or for reading and W for writing. So why do we give this chronological order? Instead of giving W first or yes first, why do we give this type of uh, chronological order? Why scholars have this, given this order? That is the reason we end this. We can take a child for an example. So, how the child starts to speak? It used to observe what is happening behind the child. So, it is used observing what is happening in, the, in, the, in its environment or from its neighbor or parents. So, it is observing, observing everything and it starts to mimic. Then comes imitation, imitation of so those sounds. Then comes words. So, we are, of course, we are also the foreign language learners and also we have to or compare it to the child, isn't it? So, First, we are listening. If we want to acquire proficiency in any 
or mastery over any language means we need to listen that particular language first. For example, we can listen to uh, English conversation or we have to uh, put ourselves into the English speaking environment or we can, can watch some English movies or some songs, whatever it may be. So first comes listening, then comes speaking. So after listening, we need to, we will uh, look at the, the speech, how they are speaking and how the motivation, everything. So after listening, we need to speak, we need to practice. So we need to practice those uh, words. Then comes reading and writing. So this, this is the process, this is the thing which we need to do if we want to learn any foreign language. So here, uh, we are focusing on yes speaking skills so while speaking about the speaking skills in english we have to uh, build ourselves with four parts uh, what are they they are fluency vocabulary grammar and pronunciation so if you want to be perfect in speaking english means we need to focus on these four parts first comes fluency if you are comfortable and confident enough with what you are speaking means of course you are have acquiring you have acquired this fluency and uh, next comes vocabulary of course if we don't have the words to say what we want to say means of course we can't say it isn't it so we need to enhance our vocabulary part third comes grammar it is good to master over major things but at the initial stage don't bother about mistakes so later on with the help of the tutor you can rectify those errors but initially don't ever bother about grammatical errors and then comes finally pronunciation of course this is a complex topic with so many sub skills what are they that it be the intonation, word stress, sentence stress, uh, rhythm and the sound pattern, sounds, individual sounds, all that. The basic rule of a thumb is that an average speaker can speak and be understood. But an effective speaker will make use of the above set sub skills and make his or her presentation in an impactful manner so these are all the four major parts which we have to consider that is fluency vocabulary grammar and pronunciation of and our class will be focusing on these four parts and our class will be interesting engaging and more like an interactive session and you can come up with your doubts and clarify your doubts and it is my vision for the learners that uh, you have to see mistakes as opportunities because this is the platform where you can enhance yourself where you can clarify your doubts where you can practice so see mistakes as opportunities and another thing is practice 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 only practice makes a man perfect this proverb suits here very well isn't it so if we start to practice of course we can learn any foreign language easily so if you are ready to do practice with lots of interest then this is the right place for you to join and if you are ready to do practice and interested means join here and we will reach the core subject you very easily so thank, thank you very much for watching this video and uh, we'll meet you soon in our class. Thank you.